And we start this afternoon with weather and the snow hitting our area. 13 on your side, Chief Meteorologist George Lessons joining us now over at the Big Wall with more on the forecast. George. Quick hitting snow in a matter of minutes and miles, depending on if you were traveling, it went from okay to oh my gosh, it's snowing pretty heavily. Uh, the snow has come in this afternoon. It's racing off to the northeast. It dropped visibilities very quickly, leading to some slippery conditions in many areas, but the snow is now retreating off to the north. Now, down in St. Joseph where we began snowing. The snow has ended there 34 degrees. Lots of snow on the beach also in South Haven. It snowed real heavily right at the end of our noon program today. Time lapse uh, showing uh, the snow over in Holland. This is right around noon today and in the afternoon. Look at that snow coming on through, dropping the visibility down to a quarter of a mile. Uh, snow is ending, but it's also below freezing there right now. Temperatures have dropped to around or below freezing, so uh, snow is melting and on those heavily traveled surfaces, the area roads are just wet for the time being, but temperatures are going to fall below freezing a little bit later on tonight, so that means there could be some icy spots, especially late tonight and early tomorrow morning. What's the rest of the weekend going to bring us? We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Well, our dry streak came to an end today. We're getting some snow. Yes, and it seems to really be making things a little bit festive, but a little bit treacherous as well. George is out on the weather deck to get us updated with what's going on. Yeah, in a minute, matter of minutes, and if you were driving a matter of miles, it went from, hey, it's okay to like, oh my gosh, what did I just get into? Yeah, a little tough on the drive in some areas here tonight, but the snow is coming to an end across West Michigan just as quickly as it came in. 13 weather ball is blinking bright. Still a little bit more snow for the next few hours in sight. It's green, no change to the 30s for seen, and this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. You can see the snow ending here between now and about 8 or 9 o'clock this evening, and then partly cloudy skies overnight. Temperatures will be flirting with freezing, so what is sticking to the grassy areas is going to stick, and in some of those bridges and overpasses and less traveled surfaces are going to be slippery, so be careful, but we'll get back above freezing and all of this will melt during the day tomorrow. It quickly moved on in. The snow it is started in southwest lower Michigan right around 11 o'clock, got up into the South Haven area about 1230 and it came into the Grand Rapids area right around mid to late afternoon. It is now falling apart and heading to the north. As expected, the snow to the north is not going to amount to a whole lot and it's pretty much over down to the south. It's all being caused by this uh, potent little low pressure system right in through there and once that moves to the east that will be it. Now there might be a couple of flurries over the weekend but really no active uh, storm systems coming in our direction anytime soon. There goes the precipitation. That's 7 o'clock this evening. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. A couple of flurries will be sneaking down through the area tomorrow night and they may linger on into Sunday but they wouldn't produce much, nothing more than maybe you still see those snowflakes early on in the day. It's going to be a very quiet weather pattern until next week. And this is all the rest of the snow that is expected here during the night tonight. Maybe another quarter of an inch. We've had about a quarter of an inch out here on the weather deck. Uh, any snow over the weekend will be up in the UP and up toward Traverse City, and it's not going to be a whole lot. You can see four tenths of an inch there in Traverse City. Looking farther ahead, for the uh, six to 10 day time period, cold weather out west, we're going to be right between cold and warm. Equal chance for that uh, warmer or colder. Our average highs are in the mid 30s. In terms of precipitation also uh, between lower amounts and higher amounts, the storm track will be out to our west at least from the 15th through the 19th. For tonight, the snow already beginning to end down to the south. It'll be early tonight before it ends. Temperatures will fall below freezing into the mid 20s. Uh, mid and upper 20s up north, your snow will be early tonight and then come to an end, and it is going to be ending here in the southern zones, 27 to 29 for overnight lows. 13 on your side forecast. Dry and partly to mostly cloudy Saturday. Again, some snow flurries, especially north Saturday night. 41 now on Sunday and dry Monday and Tuesday. A mixture of some rain and snow Tuesday night through next to Thursday before it transitions over to some snow. We'll cool off from the low 40s Tuesday and Wednesday into the 30s and even much colder weather with some lake effect snow the following weekend. Quick hitting snow here in West Michigan late this afternoon made for some tricky driving, but the snow for the most part is over, but the weather 
on the temperatures will still have some impacts on travel. 13 weather ball blinking bright. Few more hours of some snow inside, especially north and green. No change to the 30s foreseen. This view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. Highs today low and mid 30s. Just enough where some of the snow did melt as it fell. Came within two degrees of our forecast high of 36. We've been within three degrees seven days in a row now. Four tenths of an inch of snow out at the airport. We had two tenths here at uh, WZZM 13. Uh, we are running a surplus because of all that snow that ended on November 20th. So this is the first time we've seen snow since then. A deficit in Muskegon near average up north around Houghton Lake, Alpena, and even in Sault Ste. Marie and Marquette, where they're only four inches ahead of where they should be up to this point in the year. Our Shush Mountain weekend forecast. Planning on doing some skiing, just some cloudy skies, few flurries. Partly cloudy on Sunday, temperatures both days in the mid 30s. Ski report showing good base just about uh, everywhere. A couple of spots are still waiting to open. 20 inches at Mount Brighton, 36 there at Nubs Knob, 4 to 6 inches of new snow at Pine Knob, with uh, 1 to as high as uh, 3 feet of snow on the base. A lot of that being man made, and it stuck around at least for a while. Other than that, we've got the snow that is coming to an end across West Michigan. Our model is showing it'll all be gone by 11 o'clock. Just a couple of flurries here and there, and then mainly partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies the rest of the night. Very quiet weekend ahead. Saturday will be cloudy across the region. Uh, no travel impacts to do some shopping. There might be a couple of snow flurries coming through overnight Saturday night through Sunday morning, but that would be just about it. Uh, certainly a lot less and less impactful than what we saw during the day today. In terms of of snowfall. This is what will be left here overnight tonight. Generally uh, just snow flurries to a tenth of an inch and then there'll be a couple of tenths of an inch more, especially north of US 10 Saturday night through early on Sunday all the way around a very quiet weekend ahead. Uh, forecast then for tomorrow. Look for partly to mostly cloudy skies. Mid and upper 30s. That may actually be a few degrees warmer than it was today. Mid 30s to around 36 to 38 in Greenville and Fremont under mostly cloudy skies. Dry weather here in the Greater Grand Rapids zone until those flurries tomorrow night. A mid and upper 30s. 13 on your side forecast. Cloudy Sunday and 41 now, 39 and uh, cloudy or mostly so Monday. Next impact system will be uh, Tuesday night through Thursday. It'll be a rain snow mix, more rain than any snow. Back into the low and mid 30s as we head into next weekend with lake effect snow showers.